it's Monday again. So you know what that means. We're doing another Motivational Monday, and I'm so glad you guys are joining me because today we're doing some classic yoga poses like warriors, one, two, maybe three, triangle, all that good stuff. So we're not going to waste any time. Our mantra today is happiness is a choice. That one, I actually saw this, the line uh, when I was on the internet looking at some stuff and it just really popped out at me and I thought, you know what, I think that's such an important thing to keep in mind every now and then when we have those other emotions peeking their head in and we just need to remember that we can always choose to be happy no matter what is going on. So we're going to think about that during our short practice today and let's get started with warrior one. So. Imagine that your feet are on railroad tracks and you have your right toes pointed forward and your left toes are pointed about 45 degrees out from the side. And then bend that front knee so it's about over your ankle but not toward your toes. Lift your arms up over your head and then take a nice deep breath in and out. And then with all the mantras you can choose to say them out loud if you're in your own private space or if you want to tell other people about it, that's cool too. So happiness is a choice and you can think it in your mind or you can say it out loud for this practice today. So inhale, maybe lift the chest a little bit. Exhale. And then oh, we're going to get a little crazy. Okay, so bring our arms behind our back. See if you can interlace them and if you can't, just reach them behind you, whatever works. Inhale and then right. exhale and bring our chest toward the inside of our right leg. Lift our arms up behind as much as we can. So this, you can be anywhere that you need to to be able to hold this position comfortably. Or if you can drop down all the way toward the floor, however low you can go, it's fine. There's no limbo stick, so we don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> and then slowly inhale up, swing the arms back over the head for warrior one. A nice deep breath. And good, we'll step that front forward, and then switch. So right leg goes back, same foot position. Inhale the arms up over the head. And maybe we'll gaze up a little bit. And we'll think of our mantra, happiness is a choice. And take a few nice deep breaths. And then reach the arms behind our back, interlace them, draw them out, and exhale, you can start to fold in from your left leg and stretch those arms up over your head as much as is comfortable for you. And then slowly inhale, swing the arms back over, back to warrior one, gazing up, focusing on the mantra, happiness is a choice. And then hands down, feet together. We're just gonna shake it out a little bit. So swing your arms and lift up the heel of the opposite way you go. So when I go to the left, my right heel comes up and vice versa. And you can just kind of shake it out a little bit. Because I don't know about you, but warrior one, afterwards I was feeling a little bit tense. So sometimes you just need to not do a pose and just kind of shake it out. So arms up over the head and then bring them down, bend your knees. And shake it out like this. And maybe we'll do what chopper pose too because I'm feeling inspired to do that and it makes me happy. So that might be a good one to try. Okay, we'll just do it right now since we're already getting into it. So bring our feet apart and uh, toes turned out a little bit. So this is a really fun one and you'll notice, at least for me, that it gives you like a lot of energy. Um, interlace your fingers, lift them up over the head and then you're gonna bend your knees, drop your chest forward um, hands swing through your legs and then you say ha, so that's where it gets the name wood chopper because we're pretending we're chopping wood. So inhale, lift up, and we go ha, 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 ha. You guys can say it too. I have some visitors joining me. So, <laughs> They're very quiet. I'm trying to ha, but you really have to shout. It's part of the release process. It, like releases your vocal cords. Okay, ready? So go, ready? Ha, ha. Ha! 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 Good! Isn't that so nice? <sighs> so if you're having like, and stress relief too, so if you're having one of those days where it's like, oh, you can always like go somewhere and do that pose. Alright, back to the yoga. So, we're going to do 
Warrior 2. So with Warrior 2, similar foot things, but you want to pretend kind of like you're on tightrope. So right foot points forward, left 45 degree toes, but now you have like a line with your feet. And then inhale your arms out from your shoulders, bend your left knee, and gaze over those right, I mean, right knee, gaze over the right fingertips. And then hold your for a deep breath. Back to happiness is a choice. Turn your palm up, reach to the sky, and relax your left hand on the leg behind you. And then bring it back forward. Right arm on the leg and reach the left arm over. So we're really getting a lot of length and press on the outside of your left foot. And then back up. And we're going to do triangle too. So reach, straighten the right leg, reach that arm forward, and then drop. The hand can rest on the leg. If you have a block, you can put your hand on your block. If you can reach the floor, go for it, wherever is comfortable. And then if you want to look up toward your left hand, keep your chin tucked toward your shoulder. And take a few nice deep breaths. Make sure not to lock your right knee so you have like a slight bend in it. And then to come out, bend the right knee and inhale, lift up. So we're just going to turn the toes to do the other side. So bend the left knee. And check your feet position. So it's like you're on a tightrope. And then look over your left fingertips. Take a nice deep breath here. And then nice deep breath. And happiness is a choice. And then lift our palm up, reach to the sky. And lift. And you don't even want to lean back too far necessarily. You'll still feel a nice stretch in your left side. And then reach it forward. Left hand down, right arm over. And breathing here. And then reach up, back to warrior two, straighten the left leg, reach the left fingertips all the way forward to get that length in your spine, and then bring the right arm up, wherever you want to hang out here. If you look up toward the sky, bring your chin toward your chest. If your arm is getting tired hanging out in the sky, you can bend your elbow and place your hand on your back. And you can also make that kind of like a little shoulder opener if you press your hand into your back. So there's another option. And then bend the left knee, inhale, stretch it back up. Good, and then back to center, toes turned out. We're going to do goddess pose so you bend your knees. And then maybe do the mudra with your thumb and index finger together. Hold it and take a nice deep breath in. And out. And one more. In. And out. And then straighten the legs, feet pointing forward, and we're going to forward fold. So just take it down, fingertips to the mat. <clears throat> Maybe move the hips a little bit side to side. And shake the head yes. And shake it no. And walk your fingertips out far. Maybe lean the hips back slightly, and then bring it back to center, fingertips under the nose. So put one hand, let's say, hmm, the left hand under our nose, and inhale the right arm up to the sky. And where it gets tricky with this is you want to keep your hips level. So if you notice the right hip start to pop toward the sky, bring it back down, you might not get as high. And then right hand down under the nose, left up to the sky. And then both hands down. And bend the knees here. And if you can, we're going to do, um, this pose name is escaping me, but we're squatting with our um, elbows, our knees. And if not, you can sit um, in cobbler's pose with your feet together so you can hang out like this or like this because they're both um, hip openers. So whichever one, you want to take a few deep breaths in, it's fine. And then bring our awareness back to the mantra. Happiness is a choice. And then if you're not already sitting, we can go ahead and sit back, stretch our legs out. And I know this is a short practice, so this is a last offering, whether you want to do it or not. I don't like to end with any core work, but I want to throw it in there at the same time. 
So feel free to do some more yoga after this if you want to do the core pose. And we're going to do boat. And just uh, hands behind you, feet on the ground. And then inhale and lift the shins up. Bring the arms forward. Hold and breathe here. Try and keep the chest lifted. And then if you want to go a little further, you can straighten the legs like so. I'm going to keep them bent. Up to you how much of a challenge you'd like today. And then, whew, breathing here. Maybe repeat the mantra. Happiness is a choice. And then cross your legs and forward fold. And take a few deep breaths in here. And then slowly sitting up. You can stay crisscross in a comfortable way. And we'll take a moment here to center and close our practice. So if you want to close your eyes and inhale, imagine a wave rolling over the body as you inhale. And exhale as it washes out. And if you notice any thoughts arise, bring your awareness back to the mantra, happiness is a choice. And in this peace and stillness, maybe you can feel some happiness. And with your eyes closed, rub your hands together and create some warmth. So really rub them and then once it feels a little warm place the palms right over the eyes gently and then you can open your eyes and draw your hands away thank you so much for being here for this motivational monday i hope it has motivated you for the rest of your week namaste